We are Ben and MP and this is Sailing Yaba, where we get to share a dream boat being rebuilt. Thanks to simple tools, ancient knowledge and an amazing team of carpenters, our once wrecked schooner is being brought back to life. While the continuation of the spray board happens here, let's go see how the columns of the aft saloon are going. Patrons, uh, yeah, but smile. <laughs> As you know, it's been raining for a very long time now. To be precise, I think three and a half weeks of non-stop. Today is one day of no rain. I mean, the whole everything is still wet. The boat, the floor. So we did order a tarp a while ago, a big, thick, strong tarp, which is going to go between the masts and one in front of the mizzen. Full mast. So we're gonna put a huge 15 meter wide tarp over the top but we're, we were looking at what structures to use. Let's buy some pine, let's buy some more bamboo rods but then it turns out that Toninho knows someone who has like loads and loads of bamboo shoots in their garden like as tall as the building next door which is what 20 meters tall. So we're gonna go and chop some down then go pick it up bring it here and build like a nice structure around it to throw the top over. This road is so cool. Opposite us, we've got like a bearings, uh, anything to do with bearings. Next shop down is all generators. This one is if you want to get your documents arranged for the boat. There is like just a hardware store. Further up is like uh, PVC. Next one. That is the bamboo. The yeah, they're so tall. I have no idea how to say this fruit in English. The name Jabuchikaba. is Jabuchikaba. And Jalaba. when I was a kid, <laughs> people used to say my eyes look like Jabuchikabas because they're round and dark. No. Did they grow on the bark, not on the leaf? Yeah. Whoa. They grow there exactly where they are. And they, in English, it's tree warts. And this is a guava tree. Guava. Yeah. We don't have all this. In the Belgium it's just like pine. Pine. It's so cool. Pine. Here's fruits, fruits, fruits. Oh wow. Was that big? Slightly. So apparently they're saying the bamboo just grows back so fast and it's spreading and spreading and spreading so it's good we're taking it away so we can use it and they've had to like put all these wires around so it doesn't keep growing and like falling onto their garden so win-win Um, 
They just hit my face. So humid because it's been raining so much. Now it's like sunny. All this water, all this rain. You can see there's finally some blue in the sky. We, we forgot the sky was blue. It's been so long. This is avocado. Every single tree here. <laughs> so, so badass using vine to tie up bamboo. <laughs> Feel like bear grills. Let's build camp. This is going to keep our boat dry. It's going to keep us from having sunstroke and so on. So it's good. Very excited, Bobby. I think it's going to look so cool having like a wooden boat in Brazil and having like a bamboo structure around it. So while we were there with this bamboo mission, Nasda stayed here by himself working on these columns. How cool is that looking now? Awesome, right? It was so nice to have excuses to not do this anymore. However, we've got the bamboo. This part's been fixed, been welded together again. They're working on the boat. So there's nothing else I can do except for continue this and continue going up there filming the guys. Me and Pio do that, right? Why is there so much sorrow? You're building your dream boat. I'm building these. Which is a part of your dream boat, Mao. Nice, that's so beautiful. Bye. Bamboo's here. Soon we're gonna start working on that structure. But for now, let's go check these guys out. Ooh, this new spray board is in place.
guys have no idea how many times we risk our lives in order to get good footage for you. So just hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Come on, look how high this is. <laughs> You know something I also love dreaming of? Having like a camping night over here. You think that's gonna happen eventually? We'll see, right? Vai o querer o quê?
So right now, with these one, two, three, four, five columns, all those turn thingies under it and the snail, this port side is now finished structurally. Of course, now, please let it be dry so I can fill all the holes with resin and sawdust or even put some plugs in them, varnish it and make it proper sealed like holes waterproof look nice and all that so on top of that i'm going to start continue doing my usual job but this side is completely finished and you think it's okay i love it thumbs up or down ah! up good does look nice and here at the bow these are not fastened yet they're just nailed in slightly for now just to hold but this is in place we've still got to finish all this off but at least you can see the shape it's going to be same here we've got some old old new and so on so this is also a little fun area i really like the difference in the old woods and the new woods so that's in also a lot's been done and a lot more to do same here like varnishing filling all these countersunk holes and so on but that's going to be it has to dry out a bit more for that and they're talking amazing Three more to make for the starboard side. So I've got six here, one on the boat, and then that leaves three more. I think I can finish that today. So the last one for starboard has been made, ready for tomorrow. We hope the rail will arrive. So it's all been for something. So I've really rushed them today. And I just stayed longer to finish this last one. Tomorrow the rail's going on. We have been putting down some more corking epoxy in the seams today. Also, here is a piece of like, you might recognize it from the deck. It's like the real seam, fake seam, fake seam, except this one's got two fake seams in. And this triangle is the template, which is later going to go in the bow. And everything's been shut off for now, so I'm going to head home as well edit for the next video mp's home editing right now and then when that's done we can start building the last seven of those columns for the stern and then we're going to build this huge structure over the top of it so i can start really painting and varnishing the boat exciting stuff so this morning i took tom my brother to go and see someone because he had cramps i'm here a bit later and i don't know about you but this is looking a lot different than usual. So what I was explaining before is actually happening. It's happening. So this boat has been pushed to the side against ours. So that one there can be lifted up. That one will be here. It's going to be fixed over here at the top. And this black boat is going to go back on here because he is going in the water. She is going in the water before the yellow one. And then we can lift some more boats after. So come and look how close this boat is to ours. And it's been pulled sideways the same way ours was pulled with those steel wires in the ground but look at this how crazy so after me Elio, and the dog he managed to get up these stairs which are now even higher than before because it's all the way at this transom we're looking at where this bench is going to come of course we've still got this piece which goes onto here which holds some of the running rigging uh, the stoppers and the winch so that of course has to run nicely with the bench and over here at the bow let's have a look nice and wet of course we have a little piece of deck Oh, made. This guy managed to jump over here. What are you doing on their boat?
the last step to do now, this yellow boat is up, is our boat is staying, of course, it's not even a crib under it. This black boat is gonna like do a three point parallel park, like a parallel park over there behind the yellow boat. So this can be fixed and the black one can go into water when it's ready sooner than the yellow one. All the boats are now in the place that they have to be. One, two, and three. We're safe. Everyone's safe. All that needs to happen now is this black one has to be lifted a little bit so they can finish the works. And then we can get back to work. And then again, if the rain is on our side. Thank you so much for joining our Patreon crew. Tom, Rodney, Stephen, and Chris and Carmen. And Bill and Jude and Parker for donating through PayPal. Thank you so much.